I need a shot. There we go. Okay. From the Intellfluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellfluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Heather Matthews is a personal trainer, fitness nutrition specialist, NPC competitor, and fitness influencer on Intellfluence. In her bio, Heather writes that exercise and nutrition played a big role in helping her get sober seven years ago. Heather has since opened a personal training and nutrition business for women. You can follow Heather on Instagram at HLM Fitness to learn more. Cool, Heather. Thanks so much for joining us today. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into fitness? Yeah, it's actually a pretty cool story. Um, I was an addict for 10 years, addict and alcoholic. And um, towards the end, when I was trying to get sober, I had been through five rehabs. Nothing really worked. And one day I was sitting at my desk at my job and I'm like, I got to change everything, including the people that I'm hanging around with, you know? And I'm like, who doesn't drink or do anything like drugs or unhealthy at all? And I thought to myself, well, people who are competing in the bodybuilding shows, right? And I had been going to like boxing classes for about four years. So I was a little bit into fitness, you know? But uh, that day I left, I joined a gym and I found a trainer that same day and said, I want to compete in a show and signed up and that was it. It took me right to sobriety. It's been seven years and um, after a few shows, I really wanted to help other women, uh, not even just with addiction, but with self-confidence issues because I think that's where my addiction kind of was rooted. I I didn't have the confidence that I should have had. Um, So I started this business, HLM Fitness. It it started just as personal training one-on-one and it it still is that, but we've also moved online, moved into nutrition and it's mainly just not only to get women in shape, but even more so to help women build their confidence enough to make good decisions, you know, the best deci- decisions for them. And um, it's been awesome. It's really worked out great. I've actually had some girls go to rehab themselves who um, were training with me. And then after a few sessions, you know, came clean about their addictions. And I didn't even know they had any issues. I've had girls get out of bad marriages, everything. So, so it's been really cool. Wonderful. How do you go about, uh, you know, maintaining balance? Like your your daily, your day to day activity, your average days. Like it seems like you have a lot going on. How how do you juggle it all? Every every day is different, so I'm super organized. Um, and structure is kind of part of this sobriety thing for me too. So I I meal prep every week. I have all my meals in the fridge. I've got all my daughter's stuff. My husband's a vegetarian. So I get all his stuff ready on Sundays. We are good to go as far as food. Um, and then, you know, I've just got my schedule every day and I just, you know, check it off, check it off, check it off. And at the end of the day, my husband and I make sure that we have time just to sit on the couch and watch a show on Netflix every single night if we can. So that's our time, you know, that we get to see each other because I think that's really important too. Um, and I also am very lucky because I can take Wednesdays off and some parts of other days and work nights so that I can be with my four-year-old daughter too. So it's very structured, but it works and yeah. (laughs) Wonderful. Wonderful. And and we're doing this interview for those watching the week between Christmas and New Year's. And so this (laughs) question is fresh in my mind. And so a lot of people... A lot of people, especially around New Year's, you know, they set, they set up those uh, those changes that they want to make, the resolutions, often related to fitness, uh, but they struggle to fail or follow through. I worked at a fitness center, um, so January, you know, that week, yeah, yeah, that was our money week. So, what advice do you have for people to to keep on and to stay with their goals throughout the entire year, not just the first three weeks of January? I, it's going to sound silly, and you learn this in school, but it's so true write it down and be specific. What is your goal? Not just lose weight. How many pounds do you want to lose? What is your plan? How many days are you going to go to the gym? What day, what time? Everything needs to be written down, 
work into your schedule and then, you know, it's a lot easier to follow it. And then I also suggest every two weeks, go over, if you need to write it down again, go over your goal as it started. And if you have new goals, but, you know, maybe, maybe just check in and make sure that you're still following that original goal too. Because yeah, everybody, you know, week three is pretty much it. <laughs> and everybody's done, you know. Um, so writing it down and then forcing yourself to go in every couple weeks, just take a moment, write it down again, go over it and go over your plan again. I, I, I was I was curious about uh, motivation. You know, obviously you're, you're, you're planning it all out. You've overcome a lot of struggles. Is it, is it other than, is it ever like an additional struggle to just uh, go through the motions uh, for maintaining fitness or even writing about fitness content? Well, I, the competitions were really my motivation for years. And I just did my last one in 2018 at NPC Nationals. I decided to retire. And after that, I realized, yeah, I needed some motivation because I was kind of, you know, just not as interested as I've been for the last five years. So um, uh, I signed up for, it was a Spartan. I unfortunately had to cancel it, but you know, goals like that, you know, another race, or actually this is kind of one of them too, being an influencer on Instagram and working towards building a following and stuff like that. You know, it's uh, your, your followers need to be able to relate to you they want to look up to you in a way. So if I'm not keeping up with my physique and my nutrition, then why would they listen to me? You know what I mean? So that's motivation too, you know? So, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And then let's talk brand collaborations. Um, as an influencer, you know, I, I'm interested to hear what your favorite ones have been over the years. Uh, you know, if you have a few that you uh, can narrow down. Um, I have done, well, I'm still doing one with Femme Luck, their uh, clothing line, and I love their stuff. Um, and I actually, I'm working on one right now. Um, I'm not even trying to, like, give them a plug or anything, but Ghost Pillow sent me a Ghost Pillow. It's, like, this new thing. It's a yeah, $5 great. pillow. Um, they're amazing. Like, Amazing. So what I have to do is create a post, talk about my review of the pillow, and I'm also going to, you know, you have to tie it to whatever your page is about. So I'm going to talk about how important it is to get sleep in order to make good fitness decisions, nutrition decisions, and just everything, you know. So that's how I'm going to tie that in. But um, that's probably my latest favorite one because that pillow is awesome. It's taken away my neck pain. It's crazy. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, yeah, we we like them as well, so I'm I'm not that surprised there. Yeah, we love Ghost Bed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I was going to ask, do you have any any parting advice for people that are looking to get started in the influencer world, eat especially fitness? You know what? I just started my page two years ago. I wasn't really an Instagram person. Um, I had a great following on Facebook because it was more local, but my sister who's 13 years younger was really into you know the Instagram type of app so I had her help me set it up and in the beginning I really just wanted to show people what I was doing and I wasn't looking to you know kind of beg people to follow me with my posts and stuff like that and I think that's a huge part of it because I think people get turned off by that you know they say like like when you have a job don't think about the money you know the money will come if you love what you do and it's kind of the same thing with Instagram like just be yourself as much as possible don't try to impress anybody or anything like that and the right people will end up following you you know and that's kind of how it built up you know it's not huge right now I think I'm at 11.1 in two years um so it's not that great but you know I'm not really concerned about getting 24 million followers. I'm I'm happy about posting real stuff, um, you know, just being real and being relatable. Want to join Intellifluence as an influencer for free? It's easy. Visit Intellifluence.com, click on the influencers link, and then click on the join for free button to sign up. 
You'll get immediate access to our influencer marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. Earn cash quickly by referring your friends and family. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date. That's it for now. We hope to see you soon.